Hello, and welcome to episode five of the Crushing Through Life podcast. I'm Rob, and this is my friend, Jim. What's going on? So, Jim, uh, I think today we should talk about career, uh, mainly because I have some excellent news that I've been waiting for since I started my career. Uh, got, a, got my first promotion, um, which is pretty, pretty awesome, pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, it's really um, good news, man. Congrats, yeah. buddy. Thanks, man. So, um, since I got out of college, out of college, I was like in IT support for um, mostly ten years now. Um, I've been in my current position. I was just trying to think. I've been in my current position for like nine years, almost like this would be my tenth year. And then I had two other jobs prior that were a year and a half. So like, yeah, almost like eleven, eleven, eleven and a half years. Long time. But yeah, long time coming. I've been doing tech support for that long, if you can imagine or not. Um, you know, I, anybody. I, I, back in the day, I guess, I don't know about necessarily now, but back in the day, like when I started tech support or even like doing IT in general, I was so lost. I remember my first day, like I walked in there, the training, the training was a little bit informal, but uh, it's like, it was just chaos. Phones were ringing off the hook. People were answering answering calls, troubleshooting network devices, and I'm just sitting there like, "Oh my god, what do I do?" <laughs> and it's funny how like when you start something, um, yeah, when you start something, no matter what it is, you're just you're just so afraid, so timid to really go for something. So like, I don't know about you, like if you're sitting there on the first day, right, and you're just like even though you know your stuff, you're like, I hope the phone doesn't ring. Like, I don't want to have to solve someone's problems. Like that was me kind of like when I started my career until you get good at it. And then it's like, I like solving people's problems. It's, it's uh, funny, but I remember like when I first started, it was like, yeah, if I were you, I'd be like, I hope the phone just, no one, <laughs> <either is you." laughs> actually the first, the first job I had, like it was, um, it was retail tech support. So, you know, like doing tech support for, um, you know, like Burger King, uh, KFC, you know, those types of joints. But like, uh, I remember even some small business businesses where, you know, the mom and pop restaurants would call and like their system is down. They spent 20, 25 grand on the system. And it's just like, it's not working. They can't print the receipts and customers are waiting. And they're just like berating you on the phone. Oh, yeah. And that's like the best way to rip off the bandaid to get yourself into the tech support world is to, is to do retail tech support. <laughs> Because you'll you'll deal with some people that um, you know, rightfully so. They spent a lot of money on their system, and and they're they're angry, and it's not working properly. And you got to help them out as much as possible. It's like, all right, after ten minutes of yelling, it's like, all right, let me log in. We'll fix you up. Whatever needs to be done, even with a dispatch attack, we'll we'll get there. And and I've been on the other side, out, right? Where I was the retail. I didn't own it, so it's not as insane. But like, I've managed retail and had those those types of computer problems. I'm like on the phone and it just, you know, so it's funny that we both like not really versus each other in a heads up duel here, but yeah. you know, I like we've been on either side. So I hope I wasn't rude to the person on the phone. I mean, yeah. pretty calm, but um, you know, who knows? Yeah, for sure. And even like doing that sort of stuff, any customer service I'm talking to, whether it be a, a wireless carrier or whatever, like, if there's an issue where I'm looking for some sort of deal, I'm always polite because I know the guy's just doing his job on the other end. But yeah, uh, yeah I, officially after after almost a decade, uh, or I guess yeah, a decade of of, work, of doing tech support, I'm I'm now officially a an information security manager. So that's extremely exciting for me. Mainly so because uh, my 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 point at the beginning of the conversation was like like I've been doing tech support for a long time and. You know, I, I love helping people and, and, and I get the joy, like the joy that they get from fixing a, an, uh, for, for me, fixing a problem um, that's just been, they've been dealing with for the, like for a week, months, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. It's the greatest thing ever. Like it's such a good feeling to help someone who is struggling with their workflow or struggling with their computer. They don't want to spend a lot of money trying to repair it at like Best Buy or whatever. Um, you know, it's, it's a great feeling to, to help out people that way, but you know, I've been doing it for a long time now. It's 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 not something that excites me anymore. But what what's exciting me now, especially in this day and age with you know data breaches and all that, is is security and, and protecting an environment and 
and um, you know looking after a big corporation and uh, making sure nothing nothing uh, gets exposed in terms of you know antivirus um, ransomware exploits you know networking rules and all that um, so yeah I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it so um, pretty awesome that I got it pretty excited but what's great was that I finally actually actually signed that signed the offer and then the very next day I had a cottage weekend with my friends which was like the perfect like tee off to just celebrate a long weekend with my with my friends and that was that was pretty awesome yeah, so pretty yeah yeah so in terms of your your new job like dealing with um security breaches and, and that kind of thing like yeah that's a lot of responsibility like oh yeah I, I think what i've learned throughout my career is like i said you know when i first started i, w I was so timid especially in sales to really go after it but then when you mm -hmm. like you know you study and you learn your stuff and and you're you're passionate about your craft whatever it is it's a lot easier to be confident in those moments so like you know i'm picturing myself because i don't know anything about it so this is the timid side of me of like like are you nervous you know because it's that's a lot of responsibility to take on but you know maybe now in your career you're a little more mature that it, it's an exciting it's a challenge but uh, hopefully something that you can overcome what do you think yeah i think i think everyone in their career knows the point where they're, they're hitting the ceiling right and i think i was doing that for quite some time in fact it was getting to the point where actually i probably should have done this at the beginning of my career was uh all right I, i'm getting kind of uh tired doing doing this day in day out you know it's monotonous work that I've, I've been doing for quite some time i'm gonna start now going after um it certifications and that was actually one of the starter things that like i got my first one uh i think it was four years ago um and that kind of sparked the whole, all right, I'm gonna get these IT certifications. I got, I gotten four in the past uh, few years. And now I wanna get out of, you know, doing tech support and, and upgrading my career and all that. And actually, um, you know, getting all of that, um, getting those certifications, I've gotten like security certifications, networking certifications, um, hardware certifications, certainly has helped in, um, you know, you know, me being a, a, a good candidate in, in this role that just got created at my company that I'm at. Luckily, it's the same company. So that was that was great, too. I didn't have to make any moves. But, um, you know, I, I think at that point, you know, anyone who has been at the same company for a long time, they, they should really and, they, and they, they feel like they're hitting the ceiling. They, they should really look into investing in themselves, whether that be, you know, professional development, looking at uh, doing certifications or even courses or classes like there's tons of information online. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's something that I was lacking um, before at the beginning, like, even, you know, during my 20s, mid, mid to late 20s or whatever. Like, th th this is stuff I should have gotten, I gotten after, chase after for, uh, for a while. But glad I did it. Glad I got a, a good bulk, like the main IT certifications that people usually get um, just to just to gear me up there, set me up. Yeah, no, and, and um, you know, I'm proud of you for that. And I, I'm, I'm sure, um, sure the, your wife is and and your son is as well and, and you know family because it's a lot to take on with a 40 minute job and trying to manage you know dinner even or like you know just just family and then that was all pre this yeah. COVID thing that you know we, we weren't working on so mm -hmm. you know back in, in our 20s there's just so much more time but now it seems like you know almost every minute of the day is accounted for um, yeah. so you know you being able to get those those little things in there um, is, is pretty huge. And I think that's what I've learned about myself too in the last little bit is that there is a lot of time in the day. You know, I, I guess I was maybe afraid to really break it down because, you know, if let's say that I wanted to get a certification in something like the easy excuse is like, I just don't have time. Same with working out, you know, whatever people just like, I don't have time. But if you really break it down and, you know, outside of work, like if I finish work at five and I go to bed at midnight, that's seven hours a day. It's just me and my wife, you know, like, although we you know we do stuff and and um you know i get to work out in there but if i really break it down like i could easily get stuff done it's just a matter of doing it and, and taking advantage of the opportunities that we have for sure and i mean even for the last certification i did was the most difficult which was our my cisco certification um it's like four or five months of studying you know not constantly because i have a three-year-old but um mm -hmm. you know there there's times where work's done I got to study. My wife's making dinner. She's still taking care of the kid, which she, she was taking care of the entire day. 
So, Mm -hmm. you know, um, I'm very, very fortunate to have a partner that, you know, helps me excel and and pushes me, um, when I, when I, when I need that time. Um, I think my next one that I want to do, um, like there's now there's, I'm in this new role. I want to get more, uh, cybersecurity certificates. I need more time management. So I need to either, same thing with my workouts. I need to, I need to knock out my studying and my workout in the morning, I think. So, um, you know, I wake up at, let's say 7 a.m., bang out a workout, study for an hour, work. Then when I'm finished work, then I can enjoy family time with my kid, make dinner, put him to sleep, then have an evening with my wife and then maybe study at the end of the night. But like, yeah, it's, it's all about literally trying to time manage your entire day and try to crush as many goals as you can because every single day that you go, that, that goes by, and, and you don't, and you, like, just think about it this way. It took me 10 years to get to this role. Every day that I, that I didn't study to get those certifications, like I could have been in IT, like in, uh, in a security position probably a few years ago, right? Yep. Um, if I had those certifications. Not, not that, you know, uh, try not to be negative looking back in the past and the what ifs, but uh, in the future, like these, these mistakes are now perfect for, you know, learning about, or trying to execute a better time management system in my life to get those things right. done. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've talked about it before. How, as long as you recognize it at some point, like we're not we're not old, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and, mm-hmm. it, and it doesn't really matter, I guess. Like if if we notice this when when we're forty, like it's just a better way to take care of of your time and, and manage it efficiently. I'm sure, uh, you know, you could look anyone will look back and be like, I wasted so much time doing this, or like I played too many video games or stuff, but um, you know, if you come to that realiz- realization and it makes you better or more efficient or just, you know, you accomplish more, um, yeah, I don't think it really matters how old, how old you turn if you can, like, understand and comprehend that in your mind. Yeah, for sure. So then I know, um, you know, you just had that. You said you, you went up and um, celebrated. Uh, I was actually yeah. there. Yes, there you were there. First time we've seen each other in five months. Yep. Um, we yeah. weren't having anybody, and you walked right up and gave me a hug. So, that, <laughs> and uh, that was great. But I, um, you know, in, in terms of um, planning for the next thing, like I guess, I guess now, like, uh, you know, where where do you think the jumping off point is for this? It might be early, but do you have something in mind? Um, yeah, I think I think for sure, um, for sure, I want to get more security certificates as well as learn more about protecting a network and an enterprise environment. Not that I, I, I don't know how to do that now, but there's always so much you can learn, especially in this role. But uh, this, this specific um, avenue in the IT industry is like, it's just getting me excited again. Like I'm so excited to uh, think about new things and new projects I can work on um, that will better the company and that will that you know just something that can put you know uh, on my belt essentially uh you know i i I, you know protecting these these servers updating these servers um protecting this email server updating it make making sure that the firewalls don't have old rules in them you know there's a there's a whole bunch of things that uh i'm really excited about to uh you know just get this the security role um going um but it, this is definitely a, a path that's like man I, f- I feel like i feel like starting like i feel like it's starting all over all over again essentially well, they get that like i've done tech support for so long i've i've reset yeah. s- the, so many passwords every day in my life <laughs> yeah, you uh, unplug yeah. it and plug it back in uh, yeah exactly yeah a lot of the yeah essentially that, that's the first thing they teach you in college by the way is it actually well, yeah welcome to computer systems and network network support you know Unplug it, plug it back in. Oh man. Class is missed. The unplug. Chapter two. <laughs> the plug. Yeah. That's funny, man. So that, yeah, well, what, what about uh, what about you? Uh, like how, how would you see where would you see your career going in the next few years? How would you um, uh, I don't know, I don't know if improving it is, is the is the proper thing to say, but 
So I think uh, for me, what are your goals <laughs> with um, the possibility of moving to the United States? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's more legality of whether or not I can work period or not. So um, if I can't, then that would be a very good opportunity for me to, you know, have unlimited free time to, as you said, uh, get some certification uh, certifications or, uh, you know, maybe go back to school for something. I've always enjoyed sales. I've always enjoyed film. I don't really have, you know, I just have experience. Uh, I don't have formal um, book learning, if you would, if you will. <laughs> uh, so, you know, maybe I would, maybe I'd do that. And, and probably I would have actually looked into some stuff. Um, but it's kind of, it's tough living in limbo right now. So it's, you know, uh, as for what I'm doing here, I've always, already taken on another role at work. It's really tough to explain, but, um, you know, just trying to absorb everything from the people around you, I think. Like, if, if you sure. understand that you work in a place where, uh, and I didn't take advantage of this when I was younger. If you work with people who, you know, are just super, super intelligent, super smart, they pick things up, they, they see how to solve problems differently. I think if you're not taking advantage of that, then you're doing yourself a disservice because, um, you know, you should be learning as much on the fly, even if it's to expand your career in that business or in another business. Um, mm -hmm. It makes you better. And, uh, you know, like even mirroring people's personality traits that you admire is, um, is something. So like in terms of what I'm doing, I'm just trying to be really aware currently in, in, in that kind of aspect. But um, at the same time, it's just such a weird, you know, for my job, such a weird, uh, weird time right now in the world. So it's, you know, it's tough to, to kind of plan ahead when I, I could be here forever. I, I might be moving in four months, um, which would mean the end of my reign at this company probably, because I can't, even though we're American and Canadian, it would just be be tough. So kind of a weird, weird question. I hope maybe one day we come back to it and I can uh, give some more exciting. Yeah, news. for sure, man. I mean, you got some personal stuff that uh, you're, you're dealing with that you can't necessarily share, but that's like, I, 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 I totally get it. Um, the, what the beauty is with uh, with with COVID and like staying work from home right now is that we do have this abundance of time like w like working from home you know I mean I know not everyone's fortunate enough to work from home but it's given me tons of time to um, you know focus on family focus on my career a little more and focus on my exercising and working out which has been huge um, so I would say at this time if you don't see yourself doing if you're kind of stuck in this limbo state and try to try to do an online course even if it's on even if it's an online course that only takes a week or a weekend or something like that mm -hmm. you know uh you know could do something about you know i don't know learning microsoft office or windows or whatever you know i could probably use it yeah yeah and i could probably teach you yeah. <laughs> how much do you charge <laughs> well, well we'll take that offline all right yeah all right. Well, that's good. I think that's a good place to start about, uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure there'll be a little bit, a lot more episodes about uh, talking about career, but just wanted to share that little bit of news. I think that was the most exciting thing that's happening right now in my life. So oh, man, uh, man. yeah, just a massive congrats from us to you. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that a lot. It's been a long time coming and, uh, you know, wow. you, you kind of say that you, I wish I, I, I kind of say, I wish I got it earlier, but, uh, you know, I got here. That's the end game, right? Like this that's is where right. I'm at now. And it's just, that's good. A lot of computer unplugged and plugged back in. Right? <laughs> hats, on, or hats off to you. All right, man. Well, that's the end of the episode, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll catch you next time on episode six. Yeah, I didn't forget this time where we're at. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, guys. All right, bye.